it's been a rough year for the competition. Its latest Gran Turismo effort didn't go down all that well, and with their next endeavour, as much as there were a lot of redeeming features, those paddles almost ruined a potentially solid wheel. And just to rub salt in the wound, the folks over at Polyphony have now teamed up with Fanatec for their next Gran Turismo product, and we have got our hands on it. Introducing the Gran Turismo DD Pro from Fanatec. It's basically the CSL DD, but for PlayStation, except it's not the CSL DD, apparently. Built with Gran Turismo in mind, of course, let's hit the track on PS5. But before we begin, why not subscribe to the Traction channel for more hardware reviews in the future? Ring the bell if you're feeling extra nice. So if you're a Gran Turismo fan and looking at this direct drive thing and wondering what on earth it means, let me boil it down pretty quickly for you. Rather than having the means of delivering force to your wheel off to one side and transferred over to your drive shaft using a belt or a gear, direct drive does it right on the column you are turning, which results in the most immediate and clean feedback there is. There is nothing quite like it. Lesson over, let's talk about this. The first thing about this that sets it apart is the fact it comes by default as a bundle. You get the DD Pro wheelbase itself, the Gran Turismo wheel, a CSL pedal set without the clutch, and the DD desk mount. So unlike picking up the CSL DD and needing to shop around for compatible products, you get the whole thing in one go from the get-go. As said, this isn't the CSL DD in a PlayStation form. This is apparently an entirely new system built by Fanatec, which was developed in tandem with the CSL DD, but visually it does look very similar, and the specs aren't all that different either. With the included power supply, you're getting 5 Nm of torque, and the compatible Boost Kit 180 will bump that up to 8 Nm of torque. Sound familiar? It has the same mounting means as the CSL DD using T-nuts, but thankfully doesn't have that weird notch for the power button like the CSL DD has, features RJ12 connectors for pedals, shifters, handbrakes, etc, and has an almost 3 meter long USB-C cable. Hell yeah, long cables. Hell yeah USB Type-C. If you've seen or used a CSL DD, you will know your way around this guy. While it is very similar, it does have a tasteful blue ring on the back now. Gotta put across that this is a PlayStation product after all. The pedals are, as said, just the CSL pedals first released alongside the CSL DD earlier this year. And I've already covered those along with the desk mount in the CSL DD review, which you can check out up there. I won't bore you with all the details here, but they're well made, feel great to use, and honestly just do the job. The load cell kit for the CSL pedals is coming in the new year, so if you do feel like the brake by default is a bit too meager, you do have an upgrade option if you so choose. Moving on to the main attraction, this is the aptly named steering wheel for the Gran Turismo DD Pro. Could have come up with something a little more catchy Fanatec, but that's not really a deal breaker. This wheel was designed by the folks over at Polyphony Digital, the studio behind the Gran Turismo series in case you didn't know, and it does have familiar design beats to the TGT wheels from days of Thrustmaster Yore. Four directional sticks replace the dials on the Thrustmaster iterations, each corresponding to individual adjustments you can perform on track, such as for your traction control or your brake balance. You also have larger paddle-like buttons for the L2, R2, L3 and R3 inputs, and your usual D-pad thumbstick and cross, square, circle and triangle face buttons. Fanatec's tried and tested OLED display is here in white, and the usual array of rev LEDs has been reduced to three different diffused sections in yellow, red and blue. We'll get to why in a bit. The wheel itself has been made entirely of hard plastic, so that includes all of the inputs, the paddle shifters on the back, and the silver trim at the bottom, but it has been reinforced with fiberglass, so all in all, it still feels pretty solid. The rim has quite a substantial rubber grip and a blue center marker, which is nice enough, but it doesn't feel all that nice to the initial touch. When you're using it, you'll probably not think much of it, though it might be worth using gloves if you're having an extended session with this rim. This is very much your introductory setup to direct drive wheelbases. I mean, that's what this product and the CSL DD are for, and the price point keeps that in mind. Gonna talk about the price now rather than leaving it until the end because there are a few things to keep in mind, not negatives per se, but things to keep in mind, and they'll make more sense once you know how much this thing costs. You're looking at €699.95 for the kit you've seen in this video, and I think for what you get, that's pretty reasonable. If you bought the CSL DD and the CSL pedals and then the desk mount and then a wheel for like 200 euros that had buttons and shifters built onto it, you'd be looking at about 650 euros. So not that much cheaper than buying all of this as a group. But if you did go for the CSL DD, that wouldn't be compatible with PlayStation. But having these products come in at this price point has led to some corners being cut to keep it affordable. The pedals are, as said, the CSL pedals as we know and love them. Cheap, but good. The base itself is the CSL DD for all intents and purposes regarding build quality, size and weight, but the Gran Turismo rim is where the fat has really been trimmed. First, 
the plastic construction. Not bad by all means, but still plastic nonetheless. It also comes with their plastic twist locking quick release mechanism out of the box that you can upgrade this to their metal quick release system if you've got 100 euros going spare. As I mentioned before, the rim's grip is bearable and the rev LEDs have been whittled down to three to save on components. In your peripheral vision, they still very much do the job, but none of those bits are major negatives of what you're getting on the whole. But the thing that has suffered most when keeping this whole product on a budget are the inputs. The paddle shifters are honestly fine, not too heavy, they do have a nice click to them, and if they were metal, they'd feel really, really good. Now, unlike the other wheel I criticized for having plastic and not very nice sounding paddle shifters, these guys are actually fine. While, for example, the Club Sport Formula wheel has some lush buttons, these on the Gran Turismo definitely feel on the cheaper end. They're not outright bad by any stretch, they're buttons. You have to really cock them up to make them bad, but they don't feel like premium offerings. The coloured directional thumbsticks are reasonable with their concave shape, but the default directional thumbstick honestly feels pretty bad. I find it odd they've gone for this weird pointy style aside from the more familiar design of the coloured sticks, and that's probably so you can discern one from the others when you're on track which is fair enough, but I'd rather it had the same feel as these. Finally, they're all just hollow plastic, no rubber in sight like you'd expect from a normal game controller. And because of that cheap build, the actuation clicks are amplified to an almost unflattering degree. It's not completely awful, but it could be better. Well, I've put it off almost long enough. Once you've got everything put together, wired up and plugged into your PlayStation, how does it feel? Unsurprisingly, pretty damn good. In the same way we were blown away by how the CSL DD felt at its price point, the DD Pro feels pretty much the same. It delivers smooth and refined force feedback, driving over curbs felt about as crispy as it gets, and if the wheel needs to throw you around a bit, it can do. You can very much feel when things aren't going to go your way and you're going to spin out on track, so saving yourself from getting frisky with a wall feels all that more feasible with this over a potentially belt or gear-driven force feedback system. In Gran Turismo specifically, I cranked everything up to 10 and it was way too heavy to play comfortably with, so even with the base 5 newton meter kit you should have more than enough headroom to make things work for how you like it but if five newton meters simply isn't enough for you you can pair this with the already compatible boost kit 180 which will increase that maximum torque up to eight newton meters if you wanted to dig a little bit deeper into how the force feedback feels on fanatec's more budget direct drive bases then again do check out that csl dd review John jumps in to give you a sim racer's perspective on the feedback specifically, and as much as he is reviewing the CSL DD and not the DD Pro, we both agreed that they do pretty much feel exactly the same, boost kit or not. And if you are keen on the boost kit, John did a great standalone video on whether the boost kit is even worth it, and everything he talks about in that video can again be applied to this guy. Click or tap up there to see that one. Since this base uses the same drive shaft connectivity as Fanatec's other products, you can quite happily fall down the ecosystem rabbit hole with the DD Pro. As if you picked up a set of course competency only that's launching on PS5 next year or wanted to play F1 with a relevant wheel, you more than can do. You can use the likes of the McLaren GT3 V2 wheel or the Club Sport Formula and use them with this base. I tried it and it just worked. Obviously make sure the wheel says it's PlayStation compatible on the Fanatec site before you pick it up. But if that's not your speed, the Gran Turismo rim will keep you happy with anything you're playing, be it on PlayStation or on PC. Yep, the DD Pro is compatible with PC, but if you put an Xbox specific wheel onto this base, like for example, the McLaren GT3 V2, it does work on Xbox as well. It's great that it didn't take Fanatec all that long to get this excellent bit of direct drive kit into the hands of PlayStation players, though if you didn't land a Black Friday pre-order and managing to get it before Christmas, you will have to wait until March 14th, 2022 to get your hands on this. That is, what, 10 days after Gran Turismo 7 launches worldwide. So if you're a PlayStation player and you're excited for Gran Turismo 7, but want to step things up a notch, genuinely look no further than the DD Pro. If you're racing on your desk, the included desk mount will do the job no problem. If you've got a rig or want to pick up something like the Next Level Racing Wheelstand 2.0 that we're using here, you're totally fine too. Similar to our CSL DD review, the sim racing experience you get at this price point is quite simply unmatched, and it opens up the entire Fanatec ecosystem too. Plus, if you do have an Xbox and want this to go alongside your PC and PlayStation setup, you can, provided you buy that Xbox compatible wheel. The Gran Turismo wheel, unsurprisingly, does not allow this to go into Xbox compatibility mode. But all in all, if you like the look of the CSL DD and wanted it for Gran Turismo, it is an excellent shout. Getting the whole kit in one box is super handy, and for $699.95, I really can't knock the price. Definitely getting a recommendation from us here at Traction. It's been living up in our lounge ever since it arrived here, and I've been doing Gran Turismo races every time I've come upstairs to make a cup of tea. 
Thanks for ruining my productivity, Fanatec. But there we go, that is our review of the Gran Turismo DD Pro from Fanatec. Thank you so much to Fanatec for sending this guy over. It's been genuinely brilliant getting a chance to play with this. I want one for myself. I can't justify getting one, but I want one. That's how good this thing is. If you want to see more Harbour reviews like this in the future, then please do subscribe to the Traction channel, ring the bell for notifications, and thank you, of course, for watching. That is it from me. Until I see you again, have a great rest of your week, keep it pinned, and I'll see you next time.